All right, number nine, we've got y equals mx plus 1, and intersecting with a circle uh, x squared plus y squared minus 19x minus 51. So the first thing is, is that we've got this problem where we don't know what m is in the line, but they did give us a point, and the reason they gave us that point is if I could substitute in the x and the y of the point, I can figure out what the slope is, and pretty quickly I can figure out that the slope is equal to 2. And see, now I've got an actual equation for the line. That's going to be y equals 2x plus 1. And now I can go ahead and find out where these two guys intersect. I'm going to take uh, the 2x plus 1. That's what y equals. And then I'm going to substitute it into the circle equation wherever I can find a y. In this case, there's only the 1. So it's going to say x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared and then minus 19x and then minus 51 and that's going to equal 0. Now all I've got to do is expand this so that's going to be 4x squared plus 4x plus, uh, plus 1 minus 19x minus 51. I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to get 5x squared minus 15x minus 50 is equal to 0 and this all divides by 5, so then I'm going to have uh, x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. I can factor this, and pretty quickly I've got x is equal to 5, and x is equal to negative 2. And all I've got to do is take these x values and substitute them back into the linear equation, and I can find out that y is going to equal 11 when x equals 5, and y equals negative 3 when x equals negative 2. Now you recall we're looking for p and q. They gave us p in the beginning. That's 511. We already knew that one. And then that means q must be negative 2 comma negative 3. All right, let's take a look at part b. In part b, they want us to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of pq. Well, all we've got to do then is take p and q and find the midpoint and then find the slope and then use its opposite reciprocal and then create equation line. So let's see here, we've got the midpoint, that's going to be 5 minus 2 over 2, and then 11 minus 3 over 2. The midpoint is going to be um, 3 halves comma 4. And now the slope of PQ, that's going to be, uh, let's see, 11 plus 3 over 5 plus 2, and then that's going to give me a slope of 14 over 7 uh, or 2. And now I know my perpendicular slope. My perpendicular slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal. That's going to be a negative 1 half. And so I've got a slope now and I've got a point, the midpoint, 3 halves 4. And all I've got to use, use these two things to find the equation of a line. Uh, I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to substitute in the 4 for y and the 3 halves in for x. And I'm going to find out that my b is going to be 4.75 or uh, 19 over 4. So once I've got my b of uh, 19 over 4, all I've got to do is substitute that back into my uh, linear equation. And I'm going to have y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 19 over 4. That takes care of part b. In part C, they want to take that perpendicular bisector we just found and then find out when it connects uh, with the circle. Um, so once again, I'm going to take what y equals and substitute it back into y squared. This is awful because I've got these fractions. There's no real easy way to do this. I would suggest keeping it as fractions. And so when I substitute it back in, I'm going to have negative 1 half x plus 19 over 4 all squared and then minus 19x and minus 51. And if you remember when you're squaring a binomial, you just square the first term. So that's going to be 1 half times 1 half or 1 fourth x squared. And then you multiply these two dice together and double it. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to end up with 19 over 4x. It's going to be subtracting. And then I'm going to subtract, uh, or I'm going to square 19 over 4 and get 361 over 16. And then keep uh, filling in my information, negative 19x minus 51. Now I'm going to combine like terms, and so I'm going to get 5 fourths x squared. 
Uh, minus uh, 95 fourths X and then minus 455 over 16. Now, you know I'm all about doing this stuff by hand, but if I was faced with a quadratic that looked like this, I would just go right to my calculator and plug it in. Uh, 5 fourths for A, negative 95 fourths for B, and then uh, negative 455 over 16 for C. And I'm going to let the calculator do the work. I mean, you certainly could do this by hand. You'd have to use a quadratic formula, but um, it probably is not going to be worth all the time that that's going to take. Anyway, we get our solution is uh, 19 plus or minus 2 square root of 13 all divided, or 113 all divided by 2. All right, thanks for watching.